Hey y'all, hey, I'm back and I'm here with another unbagging from my trip to Japan. And y'all, today is going to be a treat. I shop at Atoya, which is a place that I think all of us who went on this trip highly anticipated. It is a, it's like a mall of stationery, several floors, each floor dedicated to different um, themed items or products for example there was a whole floor of just stationery a whole floor of just uh fountain pens a whole floor it was just a several floors of different things that lots of us in this community loved and so um i'll actually put in the description the specific floors so that you can get an idea of what they offered because um, I do have that information. I just don't have it on me right now for the video. But I will tell you that I went to every floor. Um, the, it was a couple of floors that weren't dedicated to stationery. One was like a restaurant where we ate for lunch. And, um, you know, places like that. But um, all of the floors that sold products I visited and looked through um, even if I didn't purchase anything from that floor. So I did purchase things from several different floors. And um, I want to show you quickly, if you ever see people in Japan walking around with a bag that looks like this, that means they went shopping at this mall. <laughs> so this is the Atoya bag. This is a small one, and it houses something very valuable that I got in Japan that I cannot wait to unbox with you. And then I also have a second bag, but I want to show you this bag bagged because this speaks to the culture of the Japanese people. And so I was in a long, I had a long line behind me, but when I tell y'all, um, the merchant made sure to carefully bag my things. So it had, there was a potential of rain. And so not only were my items bagged in this Atoya bag, but she also covered it in plastic, very delicately wrapped all the things inside. As you can see, like everything is like individually wrapped. And then she put all those things inside the Atoya bag and then carefully wrapped the Atoya bag um, in this clear wrap and then pulled the handles through so that if it started to rain, my products would be protected. Y'all, I was so touched. And when I tell you she didn't rush because she saw a line behind me, <laughs> I was just like, wow, this is incredible. Because in America, we would have been like rushed through the line so that they could get to the next person. So I just wanted to share that before I opened that bag. But um, I am going to start with this bag. And also I'm going to forewarn that if you are one of my patrons, you probably shouldn't watch this whole unboxing until you get your happy man. <laughs> so this is where I got their... Um, happy mail for april so um i am actually going to open this here with you all the bag this bag is large so i can't put um the whole thing on screen i have been y'all i've been reorganizing since i've been unbagging all my stuff because i bought so much i love it all and i want to look at it all so i've been um you'll see soon i've kind of reorganized how even my desk looks so um in this this atoya bag and look y'all look here is uh the first package i'm gonna start with that one because i already know what it is <laughs> and um look at this even she even taped it like when I tell you they are so careful in how they, look at this, I just love, I just love this. I'm probably going to keep this bag <laughs> and do something with it. So, y'all know what that means. Carefully open. And, um, so I'm going to tell you that what's in here I did not need. So y'all don't have to tell me that in the comments, the people who know me personally. <laughs> but I wanted it because it was from Japan and it was a great price. And so for those of you who um, know my art style, I absolutely love, love, love watercolor. And so this is a brand new watercolor set um, right from Japan. 
And when I saw the colors in here, I knew I had to have it. Okay, so let me show y'all. Somebody else is going to tell me. I know that they're going to say this. Well, you could have just mixed the colors you had. Well, I can't mix Japanese colors. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, sorry for the noise, y'all. This is very well wrapped. Again, she did all this in the store. Um, but this is a brand new set of watercolors. Um, I also just absolutely love the packaging. I mean, just having this out. Look at this. Look at this. The cover of this. And when you take the lid off, let me show you. Look at these colors, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just gonna show you all of these like i even i even thought to myself i might not even like paint with them i might just and you can individually lift them i was trying to show you that um you can individually take out each cake pan but um i was thinking this might not be used for a while and just might be in the background of my photos because it is just so gorgeous so this is a color i like of course y'all know i love this one i love this lavender i also love this periwinkle here um all all of these colors are nice and some of the colors i saw this in the store i saw some swatches in the store some of these colors look dark in the cake pan but they're actually lighter colors like i think like this is like a burgundy red um this one also is like a bur a, a dark red or a deep red uh, this is like a green, I think, a dark green. So some of the colors that look dark are actually like a pigment. You just got to add the water and add it to um, your paper. So I am going to come back at some point and do like a swatch so that y'all can see what these colors are. I also, oh, this one was turned upside down. So just in case you missed this one, this is like a pearlized a white color but um I want to show y'all what these actually look like so I am gonna come back and and share this with you but for now I'm gonna put them away because it's just one of many things <laughs> that I got at Atoya so um, also in the same bag this was bagged separately so I'm going to open this this was where another stationary store so i actually went to several floors and i checked out on the same floor so i think i got a lot of this on this all of it actually on the same floor everything except my fountain pen which i'm going to share with you last um the items here some of them are for friends so <laughs> um and i'm gonna tell y'all who they for because not a secret they um They'll still be surprised when they get it in their hands. So for now, I'm just going to take it all out. Drop it on the desk. And literally, I just dropped stuff. So let me make sure I got it all on the desk. <laughs> and uh, there's more washi in this, y'all. So, and of course, I took it all out upside down, which is good because you didn't see it yet. Okay. So... I don't even know where to begin. Um, I guess I'll begin with this stuff. I'll turn it over. Okay, so many of you may know I love stationery. I sent a lot of happy mail out. Um, haven't been sending happy mail out recently because I've been incredibly busy. But uh, this trip to Japan has inspired me to do it again. And so um, I do have some things that I'm going to mail out in this pile and I'll, I'll share that with you. But first I want to show you, um, journaling all the things, all the things from Japan. And so when I saw this little notepad of Tokyo, I was like, oh, I have to have this because it's going to provide, uh, photos for, uh, and backgrounds for my journaling. So here are the photos that are inside some of these places I visited. Uh, visited here here um and then it's just had it just really has the whole asian vibe in here which i really love um mount fuji down here the train 
the rainbow bridge oh my goodness with the cherry blossoms in the background and then those pages repeat so um my plan is to use these to journal um about tokyo which is primarily where we were in japan and i'm also uh potentially going to send like some of these sheets out to uh, my patrons as well i wasn't sure if they'd be interested in um sheets that look like tokyo <laughs> but uh i definitely wanted to send them something that looked like japan but and they'll and they will get that so i got this card i have no idea who's going to receive this yet but um i thought it was beautiful so i picked this up just because of the colors and, and all of that and their cards are very intricate i want to show you this um this is what <laughs> this is what the card looks like when you open it like it's not just flat so it, it does that and it'll sit up on your table like that as well so that was another reason why i got it i forgot to share that part and next oh y'all i got so much writing stationery so much and i have no regrets about it but wait let me show you i did also get this postcard um, I think I got this for my journal, not to send to anyone. <laughs> so, um, I love, love, love that this just features a lot of all things Japan. So, um, you see the, uh, palace in the background, you see F Mount Fuji, you see one of the Tori, uh, gates. Like, this is just very, very Japanese focused. So my idea was to cut out this circle and include it in my journal. So this is not going to be sent to anyone. I know that's so rude, Laquisha. <laughs> but I literally saw this and said, oh, I'm putting that in my journal. Okay, so let me see. Do I have any more small postcards? I think the rest of this is stationary. So y'all, this, um, like I showed you in another video, this is a matching envelope set that goes with this paper and so i'll show you what this paper looks like oh my goodness look at that y'all okay so for those of you who don't know me personally i love flowers anything that got a flower on it i'm buying it it could be a dress it could be a bag it could be paper it could be a hat it could be sunglasses shoes i don't care <laughs> if it has a flower on it a pretty flower I'm buying it. And so there are also some other pages in here. I also, I love lavender. So seeing this uh, pretty floral background on this page was just very beautiful to me. And then this, oops, this uh, envelope set matches it. So I'm actually going to stick this inside here so I don't forget that. <laughs> so this is one stationary set that I got. And then um, I didn't get envelopes for all of these because some of these, you know, I can match up with paper that I already have. But you can see here, this had, this features Sakura or um, Cherry Blossoms, which are very popular in Japan and very popular at the time that we went. We saw some, so I wanted something that featured that. And then this one's called... Um, oh, actually, I wanted to tell you, this is called cherry blossoms fluttering that's the name of this uh stationary set and then this one is called lace and tiara letter come on y'all that was made for me is a crown in the middle okay <laughs> I, was, I also buy everything with a crown on it and so i want to make sure you can see this so this paper is very delicate it is embossed with this lace um pattern at the bottom this was actually created by hallmark and there's a an embossed silver uh crown or tiara at the top as you can see and then there are embossed lines in the center so i believe every page looks like that not it's maybe 10 or 15 sheets in this pad and it was not very expensive um of course i don't see the price on here 902 yen which is not a lot um in american money and i cannot tell you right offhand what it was but um 
Also, y'all, I didn't look at the price of nothing when I went shopping. I just picked stuff up and put it in my cart. I was like, I, I know I got it. Because this was the first place we kind of went to where I started spending my money. And I hadn't really spent anything yet. So I was like, oh, I'm getting all this. Just threw it in the cart. This one is called Brilliant Letter to You from the Garden. Look at that, y'all. All this stuff is like shimmery and just so delicate looking. All of this was in the um, same stationary floor, and I believe it was the second floor, which again, I'll include the floors in the description if you're interested. But here's what the paper looks like. It's like a light lilac color, and then it has a beautiful embossed floral envelope on the bottom. I believe each page of this set looks the same. Yep. And... I also got, let me share this one next. So, of course, I can't tell you what this one is called, <laughs> but I can tell you it's beautiful. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. All the pages are the same, so I really don't need to um, do a flip. But I wanted to show you. So, first of all, of course, when I saw this, my idea was to write the letter going this way. But you know in Japan and, or in Asian places, they write from right to left in Asian characters going down the page. So this is technically how it would have been written on by Japanese people. Of course, I'm going to write on it this way. But it has embossed, lacy, floral, um, colorful, like a uh, pastel color um, designs in two corners of the page. And then this very light and wonky lines in the center which i really really like and then of course y'all know i'm going to cut up this cover because it's also embossed and let me see do i have any more of those little pads before i this this little notebook right here i don't want to open yet <laughs> because well i guess i can because it that was it for my notepads um, I, I did also get this small card set. So like when you give someone a gift and you just want to in, insert a small card, these are some small, um, note cards by Sanrio. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize that. It doesn't have any other characters, but it has colors that I like. So the periwinkle, the lilac, embossed in gold, and then it has, um, small matching envelopes behind it. So I got that. And then I got this note, this book, y'all. Let me show you this book because, oof, oof, oof. I could not leave this book in the store. I think Paula talked me into it too, Paula G. <laughs> but um, as soon as I picked it up and I'm looking through it, she's like, Queen, that looks like you. I know, Paula, don't say it. <laughs> so look at the cover of the book first. Let me um take this off. So this is like the part that tells you you know what it costs and all that which you know we don't look at <laughs> but um look at this book y'all so first of all it's very pretty it's very thick and then when I looked inside I said man there's so many uses for this that I can have all these pages are different um I'm sure some of the patterns repeat, but all of them are different. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is that? It must be the little thing where you want to like order more. It looks like a order more in the future kind of card. But y'all, oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> so let me just show you. Look at this. This is just my vibe. I love elegant. I love pretty. I love royal looking things and so of course i can't read this without my translator which i think i will use to read but i even just love these little photos that are included and then i think this is just covering like the included uh pages on the inside but look how many there are there's so many so i'll show you them I'll show you as many as I can without making this like really boring. So on this page, you see there's this beautiful pattern on the front. And then on the back, you can write on it like a, a letter. So it's a book for letters. It's, it's actually, I think it has a hundred. It says a hundred writing and crafting papers. So I could read that part, y'all. So here's another and you can write a letter on the opposite side. So this is just 
just and look at that look how the lines are both oh my goodness y'all so technically i could like put my own design or pattern on this background and then write the recipient a note on the other side look at this y'all i am so in love like and the papers don't end <laughs> i i don't know i think i'm gonna I'm just going to intentionally look for pen pals for the summer because I'm just like, ooh, I just want to send letters now. <laughs> um, Y'all know I love this page. It's my two colors together. And then look at the other side. So delicate and beautiful. It reminds me a bit of like the Bridgerton vibe. Something like that. Look at this. Look at that. So beautiful. And then this is the other side. Wow. I mean, the page is just, I don't even know where they repeat. They haven't repeated yet. <laughs> Here's macaroons. Oh, that's cute. Here's this lady. She looks like a, a Bridgerton gal. And then here's what the other side looks like. She's at the bottom. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> I am so in love. I am so glad I did not leave this book, y'all. And y'all know I love altering girls. I might alter some of these girls as well. This has not repeated yet. I was looking for a repeat. I have not found one yet. That's where I was going to... Well, there's no repeats as of now. Look at that. This girl with macaroons. Macaroons is a thing in this book. So is that dog. And there's a cat in here too. Oh, look at this page. Oh my goodness. I love that. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful. Um, here's that cat. <laughs> I love that little cat. Let me see what the other side of this looks like. Oh, the cat is bigger. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It has not repeated yet. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So y'all, I'm not gonna show you every page, but like, Gosh. <laughs> so this is why I bought the book. Because just flipping through it, I was inspired and impressed. I can imagine myself sending out a lot of um, encouragement with this book. So I feel like this is where it repeats. It must have about 50 unique pages and then repeats a second time. So I must have two of each sheet because I remember these. So wow, right? Um, I am so excited about this. And then even just this, uh, cover, look, this is the actual cover of the book. That's what it actually looks like. And then this is a cover to the cover, which y'all know I'm going to cut up when I'm done with this book. <laughs> so yes, I am so inspired by this book. This is going to last me so long as far as sending out things to people, but, um, also, so if you're my patron, you might not want to watch for the next few seconds. But if you don't care about seeing your happy mail before you receive it, because I know you won't have it by the time I upload this video, um, turn turn away if you don't want to see it. So I um, found I had to find something that would serve as like not just mail, but also like a gift, something that they could hold on to from Japan, from me. So let me tell you all something. I absolutely adore my patrons. I have to tell you this. They are not people who just sign up for a class and then leave. I've had those people, but they, um, you know, the people who are still with me have been with me since I started my Patreon. And I'm just so incredibly grateful for them because they have my back in a way that um, I don't know most creators have. I find that they care about me as a person and not just as a person teaching them. And so when I went to Japan, I was on a mission to find something that would show them I appreciate you and I thought about you while I was 6,000 miles away. And so um, I bought all of my Happy Mail recipient patrons. Um these beautiful Japanese fans, which will also serve as a note, a sweet note to them. And so um, they are very thick and sturdy. They're embossed in gold and they feature this cute little um, 
Japanese girl with a kimono with this very delicate uh, pattern on the kimono and the Sakura in the background. And the fan is a little thick, so I know they're going to charge me as a package for this when I mail it out. But um, this is a greeting card. It's called a um, Uchiwa fan greeting card. And so I actually have not opened one of these yet, so I'll do that now. The envelope and everything is already here. All I got to do is address it, write my notes, send it out. And so... It's made in Japan. I might even leave that inside so they can see that. I might put it on the fan. I don't know. But when you, you write the note on the other side of the fan, or I might just like sign. I don't know what I'm going to do yet because I haven't done it yet, clearly. But you can see it's embossed in gold. Um, it's very thick at the bottom, so I'm not going to be able to make that too flat. But they can also really use it. <laughs> and um, it's... I don't know what this is made out of, but it's not paper. It's like a very thick cardstock, almost like um, the kind that you get on the front and back of like a pad of paper. And then this is the envelope that I can put it in, which fits it perfectly. And it already has like a little design or pattern on, on here. So I am going to do everything I can to make the envelope beautiful, to write a nice note to them. And, and let them know that I thought about them all the way from Japan. So I bought enough of these to treat every single one of my patrons to this. I also have a couple other things that's going to go inside this envelope for them, which I'm not going to show you all all the stuff they get in online. But this is like the featured um, thing that they can put up in their craft room or having a background of a flat lay. I was thinking of how they could also use the whatever i sent them creatively and i i just when i saw this i fell in love i quickly got all that i needed i think i only left like two on the shelf <laughs> but i'm sure they were not complaining when i got to the checkout line so all my patrons stay tuned you're gonna get this if you just watched it <laughs> all right so that's that and then i also got some washi tape so I got this Tokyo washi tape, which actually looks like the uh, Tokyo notepad that I just shared with you. So I'm not going to open it now because every time I open washi tape, it just takes too much time on the videos. But I am going to do a washi swatch in uh, one of my new traveler's notebooks and um, show you all the washi that I got from Japan. But this essentially uh, features some of the images that's in this notepad. And then I got another washi roll. This one's, I thought I knew the name of this. Um, it's by a brand called Clothespin. I must have saw the name of it in the store, but on here it says Kumiro. And um, it basically features this very beautiful periwinkle teal and blue ocean-like pattern with a very strong metallic gold pattern over top of it so it's like two gold lines with splatters of gold squares i just was like this is beautiful when i saw it i don't even know what i'm going to use it for but it reminds me of the ocean or something and so um i had to have this i thought it was gorgeous and um that's something else i bought that's more washi tape I also bought this from the fountain pen store, but this was put in this bag instead of the other bag that I'm getting ready to open. But I got some um, ink. Oh my gosh, y'all. First of all, you're going to be proud of me because I told y'all in my, um, in my uh, Baltimore pen show uh, review recap that, you know, they were teasing me because all the ink I use in my journal was black. <laughs> so look, y'all, I did not buy black ink, praise the Lord. But what I did do was I saw this swatch in the store. This ink, which I, I will swatch for you at some point, features a shimmer in it, which you're not going to see here. But this is like a royal blue with like, I believe it was a silver tint or like a silver shimmer in it i just wanted to see if i could see it oh, i can't but you can see here that it's like a royal blue and it ha it does have a um 
silver sheen to it and this one also don't ask me what this brand is y'all because i cannot read this if you recognize the box though <laughs> let me know um i can look it up but i i can't do it while i'm recording um this is like this mauve color but with this um this sheen it's like a it's not gold it's like a it's just a like a iridescent green and blue sheen in the background so also don't forget y'all you're not supposed to shake your ink <laughs> you're supposed to like turn it back and forth like this to, to mix it up but i am looking forward to swatching these and filling my new fountain pen with one of these and so um I'm going to put this to the side because that is actually what I'm going to open next. So my fountain pen had to be purchased on the floor where I found it because my fountain pen, y'all, was my most expensive purchase in Japan. It is something that had not even come out in America yet. <laughs> it's on the way. Um, you can buy it. It's not something that's exclusive to Japan, but it had not come to America yet. And... I didn't know that when I when I initially purchased it and so um, I'm actually gonna link in the description I'm gonna link it with uh, more information about this pen because I do have that but right now I'm just really excited to show you what it looks like let me tell you what happened though when I went to the fountain pen floor first of all there were pens that were out that you can like pick up and touch and play with and test out and all that kind of stuff. Those pens were not as expensive as the ones that were in these very long glass cases. And so the pens in the long glass cases were the ones that you would make an investment in. And what one of the things that really impressed me was that there were families in the store looking at these pens together. There were families, there were couples looking to purchase pen, fountain pens um investment fountain pens for their children and they were they look very young and i was just so impressed with that like as a teacher someone who's always like asking the kid where is your pencil here go get a pencil like i'm always i was always fussing at kids about a pencil but um you know to see these asian children in the store looking at pens that <laughs> I'm just learning how to use it as an adult. <laughs> I was like, wow, it was just so inspiring. But I also, my eye catches on shiny things. Y'all probably picked that up just from like all the things I've already shared with you here, like the stationery that was shimmery and things like that. I like shine. I like sparkle. I like glitter, all those things. You know, if you didn't know, I'm also uh, a pageant queen, a former winner of several pageants. And so I like sparkly. <laughs> and um y'all there was this i looked at all the pens in the fountain case twice i'm walking around the store and i'm just like mm, i don't need another fountain pen y'all i was so satisfied with everything i purchased at um at the baltimore pen show so i get to japan i said i'm only gonna buy one fountain pen but i'm walking around i'm like I mean, my fountain pen looks just as good as this one. You know, I was just like being bougie in my head. So, <laughs> but when I tell y'all, this is this one pen, y'all. I feel like it said queen. <laughs> oh my gosh. I saw this sparkle from afar. I went back to that side of the room and this pen, I didn't even care how much it cost, y'all. I said, I this will be my investment in Japan. And so... Let me show you, because I just did all that build up. I really, I wasn't even trying to. I just really wanted y'all to know the story behind how I even got to the place of selecting this pen. So first of all, when I get to the counter, the lady doesn't even like, so the process isn't you just get to play with the pen. They very carefully take it out of the glass case they wipe it off before and they present it like this to you oh my gosh i was just so impressed and um and they do that with every customer like everybody has to be waited on one at a time they had several people who were waiting on people but um she also very delicately opened each part of this package so this is a platinum um there's another name 
there's another name for it. It's probably inside. I'll, I'll look inside. So here's the box. And I have a warranty for it. <laughs> wow. Like, that's how much of an investment I had to make in this. Here's the date of purchase along with um, the model number. It's all written in Japanese. And, um, oh, that's what I was trying to remember. 3776 Century. And it's also called a chai latte pen, I believe. My friend Jackie taught me that. I didn't even know y'all didn't care. Let me tell you. I told y'all in that Baltimore pen review video that I said, well, I need to stop buying pens based on aesthetic. That didn't work this time. But it worked in my favor because not only is this aesthetically beautiful, but it is also an investment that will last me because it's a good um, pen. And so I don't know what this is, but I'm going to keep it. It was about um, installing the ink cartridge. Um, okay, y'all. So here is my new fountain pen. Oh my gosh. I haven't looked at it since um, I've been back home. One of the things that I loved about this is how she turned it and held it to me i mean even when she took it out the box she had this like delicate cloth that she pulled out her um it's like a little apron like thing she wore and she wiped the pen off before she handed it to me and then she wiped the pen again before she put it back in the box like y'all i was so inspired so it comes of course with um you get the ink cartridge that you can insert but then you also get the converter that you can use to fill with your own ink. And then it came with a bottle of mixable ink. You can create your own ink colors with this. And um, I think this is like a brown shimmery color, which, you know, goes perfectly with the um, chai latte. The thing that, okay, the thing that struck me about this pen, without me even knowing what kind of pen it was, is how sparkly the cap was so let me show you all that let me see if i can get it to focus do y'all see that it's like little rhinestones all in the cap this is what would speak into my speaking my name it was so beautiful from across the room and then also there is a heart in here let me see if i can find it well course i can't find it now but there is a little gold heart in here and i'm gonna tell you where it came from i can't find it now but it was more visible while i was there somewhere in this cap <laughs> oh maybe i'm just overlooking it right now but anyways this has a 14 karat gold nib and um it also came with the top and the bottom in this uh like cream color and so, but I wanted the, the, the tan colored top, but this is a 14 karat gold. I can't remember. I got fine, a fine nib because Asian nibs, um, tend to, uh, nibs in Japan tend to write a bit thinner than what we're used to with, um, nibs that are made, uh, locally here. In America and so if I would have gotten extra fine it probably would have looked like a needle point on my on my journaling and writing and so I got a fine and I also um, discovered this is 14 karat gold nib also and this is the first 14 karat gold nib that I've owned and so um, also if you look oh gosh I hope I can do this on this camera <laughs> So let me try to focus it. Let me let me try, y'all. Hold tight, hold tight. There we go. If you look at this nib, there's a little heart. Oh gosh, of course you unfocus as soon as I move the pen. So there's a little heart here. That little heart that is cut out of the nib is somewhere in that cap. So it's somewhere in here. <laughs> and um you can even see on the packaging under the title of the pen, it says shape of a heart because the heart was um, cut out of the nib and included in the cap. So when I said that that heart is in here somewhere, I have seen it, but I guess, oh, I see it now. I see it now. Hold on. There it is. You probably won't see it. Wait a minute. I got to not mix it in. Oh gosh, y'all. It's under 
I see it. You can't, but it's in there. <laughs> I just saw it. It's it's just really buried under some of the um. Let me see if I can get it to come out. Oh my god, I'm not doing all this on camera, but just know that that little piece of nib is in here, that 14 karat gold. So um, also when you um, unscrew the top, of course that's where you can put the ink cartridge or the converter. And um, look at how beautiful, just look at how beautiful that is. Oh, y'all. Like, am I even gonna take this pen out the house? Uh, <laughs> and then even on the, the body of the, the, or on the cap, the bottom of the cap, it says made in Japan, number 3776, century, platinum, and then it again says made in Japan and repeats. And the 14 karat gold is also on the cap and the trim on the bottom. Y'all, I am so in love. And it was all because that doggone cat was so shiny is the reason why I purchased it. So this was my investment in Japan. This was the gift to myself. This was my happy birthday, Merry Christmas, and happy everything else this year because, um, yeah, I dropped a couple of yens <laughs> on this, but it's so worth it. I also heard and found out through my research when I returned home that this will be coming out in America, I think at the end of April. So I am so excited about this. I'm excited to ink it up. Um, I want to ink it with one of these. I need to just do a bit more research to make sure that this won't clog my nib. But um, if not, I'll be sharing that with you soon as well. So and um, y'all... I'm not going to tell you how much it costs, but I will tell you it was cheaper than it will be in America when it comes out. <laughs> so if you find out how much it is in America, it was just a little bit cheaper than that. And I'm just really glad that I discovered this because I had no idea what kind of pen I wanted to get, but this was the best choice for me. And this was all my shopping at Atoya. I hope that you enjoyed this unbagging. Let me know in the comments which of the things that I invested in did you think was the was the best purchase. And honestly, while many of you might say, girl, that fountain pen was a gold winner. Um, I really think that what I got from my patrons is something that I, I, I treasure personally because I feel like there are about to be several people who will be touched by Japan just because of how they have touched me so this is really also in addition to my pen one of the things that i really love from my purchase include and my watercolor set and my paper oh, everything y'all everything i love everything and i love you for watching and tuning in to all of these unbaggings y'all i'm almost done um i had to do this in sections because i didn't want a long video of a whole bunch of products um being shared and so um, I think I have just a few more and then I'm going to start using these things and I'm excited about it. So thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Check the description below so that you can see um, all the additional information that I share based on uh, this video today. Thanks for joining y'all. Bye.